Hi guys, I'm Generic Redstone Genius, and today I'll be showing you this vending machine. I'll start off with a demonstration, then I'll talk you through how it works and how to maintain it, because if you do build it yourself, there is a few things that need to be maintained, and certain ways you need to restock it. So I'll walk um, you through all of that, which is very important if you do actually decide to build it. And then I will do a step-by-step -step tutorial, so you guys can build it for yourself. There is a little bit of alterations that you will have to make, depending on the amount of items you'd like to, um to shoot out because it depends on a few things like how many droppers you put and what the timings are um but other than that it's very simple and you just need to follow along and i'll explain how you can get it to be any amount of items you want so you can make it shoot a stack like it will now two stacks one item two items three items as many as you'd like so let's start off with a demonstration now and all you have to do is throw a diamond in between here like into it um and you'll get your items so you throw the diamond um, and you can set that to anything you want. It could be a diamond, iron, gold. And now we got 64 observers, like it said. So it's that simple. Um, this does have to be carpet for it to work. And it does take up a little bit of space above the ground. It's not too bad. But what you could do is you could actually just get, um, like a wall. So let's say it was like inside a building. You can make it like a wall. And then you can kind of make it like this so it looks like it just sticks out a block. So you can make it look smaller. Um, like so. You can also, um, do other things like that. Um, so if, like, you'd have to obviously, um, make this wall be, um, hidden away somehow. But there's creative ways to make it look smaller. And also, unfortunately, it does take up quite a little bit of space underground. It's not too much, but probably from around here to around here. So now let me show you how you get in for actual maintenance purposes. So you can kind of pick your own way, depends on how you build it, but I just have it set to be like this. You hop in, you replace the um, carpet, and you hop down. So as you can see, it's kind of a mess in here. But the first thing I I'll want to say is that you can make droppers drop a certain amount. So you can make them drop one item, two items, three items, or ten items. Now using those numbers, you can kind of create any number you want. So You'd have, if you want to drop 64 like I am, I have 6 10 dropper, 6 droppers that drop 10, a dropper that drops 3, and a dropper that drops 4. If you want 32, then you do 3 droppers that drop 10, and 1 dropper that drops 2. So it's just kind of like customizable in any way you want. So let's say you have, um, you're selling it by a stack, and you have 5 stacks to sell. That would mean that um, you'd want to, you'd have five stacks, so you'd put, um, these are the ten droppers, so you'd put 50 um, in each of those, because you'd multiply the, the amount that you're planning on selling, so you're planning on selling it five times, if you have five stacks, um, times the amount of items that shoots out, so you'd put 50. Then for the three dropper, you'd put 15, because um, you're selling it five times, and three from this dropper. And for the one dropper, you put um, five. You put five because you're selling it five times. It's only shooting out once. The reason you have to make sure it's uh, in line like this is that um, you have this little thing here that basically makes it so that if it runs out, it will no longer accept the um, cur um, the diamonds. So you don't accidentally rob anyone. So it's only being it's only checking one dropper. But if all those droppers are in sync, then it only has to check the one dropper. So it's checking this dropper. I didn't actually put in, like, correct numbers for this, but um, if you take it out, it locks. So um, basically, we're simulating that it's locked now because um, we remove the one dropper that matters. Um, and now if we try and grab a diamond, it won't accept it. So then you can just grab it back and be on your way. She said that that's how you'll know it's out of stock. But my point is that you need to make sure that all the droppers have the same amount so they'll run out at the same time. N not all the droppers have the same amount, but the droppers will all lose the same amount so that when they um, when the machine runs out, the one dropper is enough to tell it, okay, we're all out of um, items, so make sure that nobody accidentally spends anything. So that's like the only bit of maintenance you really need to do is just be careful when you're restocking it. Um, but other than that, you can pretty much... Just like fill up, make sure you do like the um, right amount, and then just leave. And yeah, so this chest is worth of diamonds going to. You can collect that at any time. And also, unfortunately, 
for the item sorter, you need to put in 18 diamonds for it. Um, it's unfortunate that item, item sorters are like that. Um, some of them, most item sorters, like the typical, like the standard design, requires 41 items, I believe, to sort. So I kind of made a modify design that only works like on a one by one tileable and it's a bit bigger. But um, at least you're saving um, quite a few diamonds that you have to put in to it. Um, so yeah, I think that's better than before. So yeah, like I said, it's very practical for a vending machine because it actually functions like most vending machines do function in real life, where you put in the currency and you get a certain amount of objects. However, it could be considered a bit difficult sometimes, but more of like a late game thing. So it depends on like what your goals are. It's more of a thing you do for fun because um, it's just cool to go up to something, you throw in a diamond, and you get um, the thing that you want. So... Yeah, it's pretty much all like the ins and outs of it that you really need to know. Um, actually, there's just one more small little thing. The way it gets shot up is via a hopper, sorry, a piston, a sticky piston with um, a slime block, because that's like the cleanest way to do it. Um, so for that, you need to make time, um, a redstone line go there, and then you need to have it give it like a few second delays. So you're kind of gonna have to like loop around um, repeaters a few times, and you also have to take like a signal from somewhere. So you kind of have to figure that out for yourself. That's the issue with these kind of builds where you're, um, where you're kind of just dealing with things. Is that you have to, um, figure it out because it's like, well, what if you want to sell 32 objects? Or what if you want to sell two stacks? Well, then it's going to be a little bit different, so you kind of need to figure it out a little bit. It shouldn't be too difficult, but it's just something you need to kind of figure out. So, um, I'll try and help you the best I can to figure that out. If you have any like questions or anything, you can always put that in the comments and I'll try and answer you so you can build it. But yeah, other than that, um, that's all I think I need to address before I begin the tutorial. So without further ado, let's begin the tutorial. So to begin off with the tutorial, let's take a look at what items you need. Um, I just want to start off by saying that some of these are approximations that depend on how you wire it. So I'll tell you which ones are approximations, which ones are just, you need that amount. So you need two chests. You need an amount of droppers that can be anywhere from 1 to 2, all the way up to 32. I highly doubt you'll ever hit 32, but it could go that high, depending on, again, on how many items you want to shoot out. So I'd say most likely you'd only need, like, 9 or 10, but, again, like, it depends. You'll need um, a few sticky pistons, depends on how much, um, like, how you wire it, how many you want to shoot out, but you'll need at least one, but likely around three. Um, you need a slime block, you need an amount of redstone, just get about a stack or two of that. It's not too hard to obtain. Get a few redstone torches. Get about half a stack to a stack of repeaters. Depends on how you wire it again. Um, get a few comparators. Probably around five, six. Probably only need five or six. But you might need a few more. Um, get a few stacks of building blocks. Just to build on and whatnot. You need four um, objects that cannot be... Um, cannot stick to um, slime blocks. So that could be a blast furnace, obsidian, a normal furnace, a smoker, um, chests, um, shulker boxes, and um, glazed terracotta. You need an anvil to rename four random items for the item filter. You'll need two stairs, um, a few targets, depends on how you wire it, but I think you'll need at least two. You need three hoppers, um, some carpet. Technically, you only need two, but if you want it to look nice, you should get a little bit more. Um, you should get a few birch signs or just signs in general. Sorry, to cover up holes that are covered, like that have um hop um that have um carpet on top. You need eighteen diamonds or whatever currency you decide to use. I'm assuming most people are going to use diamonds, but if you're using like gold or emeralds, for example, you need eighteen of that. And you need a few observers, depending on like how how you wire it. By say around five to ten depends. So um yeah, that's all the items you'll need. If I missed anything, I'll put it up on the side. But, um, yeah, so let's get on to the actually building it. So I went ahead and prepped a little bit of it. So what you're going to start off by doing is just placing the first bit, which is just simple. One, two, three, four, six. Then you place one upward facing stair, downward facing stair, and you get that. Then what you're going to do is dig out one, two, three, four to the, um, to the right, four blocks to the left, five blocks in front, and five blocks behind and you're going to dig one two three four blocks down i just um pre-dug it out so we can already get the um 
so you can quickly start. But just to refresh, um, to refresh, five blocks front, five blocks back, four blocks to the side, and four blocks down. Then what we're gonna do is build the filter. So to do that, we need the redstone dust, a torch, um, a comparator, a repeater, and some blocks, as well as the hoppers and chest. So let's start off by just placing the chest and hoppers. Um, so you can place all but the last one, because the last one needs to go into the comparator. So if you place the comparator like that, make sure it's going into it, um, like so. If it isn't pointing into it, it doesn't work. I um, used to make that mistake, and I never, I could never figure out what was going wrong with it, because I was just like, it, all the buildings look right, why isn't it working? Well, it turns out if that isn't pointing into the comparator, it won't work. Anyways, then what you have to do is go one, two, three blocks out and go dust, dust, repeater, go a block up, a block down, redstone dust, a block down, another block next to that, a repeat, another repeater, a bit of redstone dust, a block, and then a torch. So that should complete the filter. I also did make a mistake, I did edit it, but you do need 19 of whatever um, currency you plan on using. But now is the point where we'll go in and rename four random items. It can be any item, like dirt, grass, whatever, just and just go and um, type gibberish, gibberish after, this is so that nobody can accidentally throw in the um, filter items. Oops, I accidentally broke it. This is so no one can um, break the filter, or accidentally throw in the filter items, and accidentally break the um, machine, because if they do, then it kind of, um, it'll like mess up the whole thing because it's just the way the redstone for it works. So just rename it gibberish. It can be like any junk that you have too much of. Anything, basically. Um, but yeah, then you'll notice it's like this. So then what will happen is you'll be able to take a signal out from this. Always do repeater right like out of the thing so it accidentally doesn't backfire. And actually, I forgot to mention this, but this has to be a target block. Sorry about that, but that's a target block. Um, so now they'll notice that it's just like set for diamonds now. Um, so when I broke the um, thing temporarily, it kind of got stuck, but if you, you put it back, there we go, all 18 are back. My faults. Anyway, so if we take the diamonds, we throw it in, you'll notice we get a signal. Now that's how we um, manage to get the stuff sold. So this is going to be the slightly more complicated part where you're unfortunately going to have to figure it out for yourself a little bit because it depends on how much you want to do. But I'll show you how you set it up for each um, for each amount. Then I'll set it up how I set up for like the 64 items one because I feel like a lot of people are going to be wanting to do um, 64. So to do um, to do one item. Um, Chances are you can just either run it straight into um, the dropper, and the droppers are going to be here. Um, but yeah, you can either run it straight into the dropper, oops, like um, you get a dropper. You can run it right in, um, which you can do. But when you're doing um, two blocks, you can also um, run into like an observer. Sorry, I don't have an observer. You can also run into observer like this. So that, um, when it fires, it does two pulses, so I'll just demonstrate that real quick. But, um, however, when you want more, what you're going to have to do is something like this, where you'll go, for three, what you need to do is go get a sticky piston to push observers together. So it kind of works like if you place the piston, you place the observer facing that way, like that. You place another observer facing that way, and then you can place the droppers off of it like so, as many as you'd like. And then you can kind of place the um, redstone on top. So all these will fire out three. Um, so I can demonstrate that by putting in one, two, three, one, two, three, oops, that's four. One, two, three, one, two, three. And then when you throw in the diamond or whatever you're going to see, one, two, three. You can see they're all empty. Um, if I put in um, that was 59 in there, oops, I missed. Um, you'll see it's 56, so it was um, exactly three. Um, 
So then, anyways, my point from that is that if you want to put also one or two on this side, what you could do is take an output from this observer, um, from that, um, using observer from that, um, sticky piston. And then what you can do is take redstone, and if you want it to be two, then you just run it directly into your, um, dropper, because, um, if you think about it, it's just, the uh, um, the double thing because the re um the extend is one pulse and the retract is the other pulse, so that's two. However, if you only want it to be um one, then put a repeater going four ticks. So um and that will um make it work because um how do I word it? Because it like the tick um the delay makes it like the two short pulses turn into one long pulse, so that'll make it only do one. So now I'm gonna just set it up for the sixty um four which would be one like this. And then we can set up, um, like I said, you'll kind of have to figure out for yourself, unfortunately, but yeah. So now let's put in, um, just for testing purposes, let's put in three, actually just put in uh, a few more. So we should pick up four observers. We have none currently. So one, two, three, and then four, four observers. So we know that part's working. So like I said, it's, kind of, it's almost like a puzzle where you kind of need to figure it out. It's a bit complicated. Regardless, um, next step is I'm going to demonstrate how to do um, tens. So what we need for that is something called um, a pulse extender. You might have heard of those from many YouTubers, like Redstone YouTubers have shown them before because it's quite important because you just make the pulse longer. So um, yeah, that's basically all there is to it. And then what you can do from there is um take uh observer sorry take a sticky piston up and do the same thing with the observer um clock where you put the one facing that way the other one facing that way so now when they um connect and hit each other it will spit out 10 so we don't have any andesite right now but once i throw it oops that did not sorry um that's my mistake there this does not connect, so you need another target block. That's why I said I don't know how many target blocks you need. It depends how you wire it, but here you do need a target block because that does not directly travel into it. So if we do it again. And we collect it all up. That's 10 polished on the site. So now if you want to do the um, 60, we need to do six of these. So, like so. And we run the redstone on top. So now we have a set to do 64. So now all we need to kind of do is um, wall this bit off. Like so. Um, and actually what we should probably do now is um, get this part done. Is um, the bit that checks to make sure that you're not out of objects. So just go um, how can we do this? Uh, okay, so we'll go, um, so, um, pair the repeater, then we'll dig into the wall a little bit. I think we might have to do a little bit, unfortunately. Okay, my apologies, I just couldn't remember exactly what I was supposed to do there for a second. So, uh, just as a redstone line into a block, into a redstone torch, into a block, into a redstone, into a repeater. So... That's right, I'm working because there's nothing there. And when there is something there, it'll allow itself to work. So that's perfect. So now we can see there's 26 in there, 64 in there. So, and it's allowing itself to work now. So when we throw it in, oops, I missed. It shoots out 10 of each. So that's perfect. We're working just as it's supposed to. Now we have to do, um, the part where we send it up to the top. Also, like I um said, um you, the reason you need a few carpets is because you need to kind of cover like that. Um, there isn't really a good way to um. Okay, so sorry, I just realized that you can actually just place redstone there instead of the repeater. Um, also, in case you're wondering why I, we can't make it so that the redstone goes to there and we have the um torch there, it's unfortunately because um. It would kind of block off this because we need there to be water there. So the way we actually place the water is um 
in the corners. Um, so if that, um, actually I'll just break all this to demonstrate. So you place it in that corner, that corner, that corner, and that corner. And that should make it meet in the middle. Um, looks like it's not. So like I said, depends on the way you wire it. Oh, you know what happened here? So that's the thing. Sometimes you'll have to make it a bit, adjust the size of it, depending on how it, um, you build it. So what you can just do here and like it readjust the water. But I think the best way to fix this would be, yep, like that. So now it's got a clear middle. So you have one, try and keep it in this, um, five by five size and get all your, um, droppers in. And you should be able to realistically, because you got all this side and all of this side. So realistically, even if you're doing like, three stacks for example that's um 128 to um 172 blocks i believe um future me heard that and realized i got that totally wrong it's actually 192 i have no idea what i was thinking let's move on um i could be very wrong there um but that would be then about 17 of these if it's 172 and then just a 2, so you just need to do 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17, and then you just need one 2. So even if you're doing up to 3 stacks, you can still fit in the 5x5 five five area. But if you do need to make it bigger, you'll kind of have to figure it out a little bit. Like I accidentally made that mistake there where I cut it short. But now it's all going to be popping to this middle point. So what we need to do here now is get a non-movable object, or an object that can't stick to... Um, slime blocks so i'm just gonna use a blast furnace but like i said it can be obsidian a normal furnace even terracotta shulker boxes if you'd want to use that for whatever reason then what we're gonna do is we're gonna play two blocks down get our sticky piston and get our slime and then we're gonna place that down there our slime block there now we have to connect that which is sort of the difficult part so i think we're gonna wire up to this side since from the side since we've already kind of got this here then what we can do is, um, hmm. I guess what we can do is we can break it a bit this way. So, one, two, three, four. And you can save a bit of redstone dust by using the building block there and having it, uh, actually, no, we'll make it like this. So, I recommend maybe about 10 repeaters using 10 repeaters for this part. It's unfortunate, but you do have to make a delay. Otherwise, it won't work. So, this is just a little trick here. We're just placing it into the blocks. This will just save us redstone that we otherwise might be using. And um, I guess we can just... Oops, so there's a wire there. So, we have to start digging down earlier. Um, you can do this trick because if you... Um, let me just demonstrate. If you get your... Place that there. That'll power it downwards. If you don't place that block, it won't power downwards. So, that's just a little trick. Like I said, when you're wiring it, it's going to be different, but that's just a little bit of a trick you can use if you want it to go directly downwards off of a repeater. Um, then down once again. Um, yeah, we can break that. So now we have to find it. So it's one to the right, and you kind of have to find it. Like, um, it's not, I'm not even sure exactly where it is. Okay, so we found it now. It, you can put it into the block underneath it. And what I guess we can do is have repeater block there. Actually, let's make it go one further. Peter, block. So like I said, you kind of need to figure this out part, or this part out for yourself. I'm just showing you how I'm doing it because, um, but yeah, like I said, I, you, I recommend about 10 repeaters for this part. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 12. So 12 should be good. Um, but then what you have to do after this is just, um, place blocks around a camp. Oops, that should have been messing anything up. Like so. And then what you can do is, um, um, put it all the way up to the top, and then you place the sign. I don't have a sign. You place a sign with the carpet over it. Sign first, then the carpet. You can't just place the carpet on top of the sign, you have to place it off of another block. And I recommend carpeting it more just to make it look more uniform. And neat. So I'm not going to cover it up completely now, just so we can see it a little bit, but uh, mostly. And now let's get to stocking it, that we can test to make sure the light's enough. So what we do is, let's put in, um, so like I said, you make sure it's even. So multiply the amount of times you're able to sell it. So let's say you have two stacks, you have to, you know you can sell it twice, so you have to multiply the amount of stacks by that amount of it shoots out. 
the amount of times you're selling it by the amount of items they're shooting out. So this should be 20 in each. So let's get, um, you know what, I'll just cut to when I've completely filled them up. Okay, so I've now um, put all the items in, so like I said, it needs to be balanced. So it's the amount of times you can sell it with the items you have, times the amount of items it shoots out. So this one shoots out three, and selling it twice, so that's six. This one only shoots out once, so it's um, two, it's two times one. And then I also filled, um, actually I already filled that in, but um, there's about um, 20 in all of those. And I meant to, I filled this in like in the last um, clip, but I meant to show you guys um, something else I forgot to put here. You actually need to put another sign there. And this is so that, because if you're standing here, it works fine. It'll like shoot up to you. But if you're not standing there, it kind of just hits like the thing and kind of pops back down, the carpet and pops back down, which is not good. So what you need to do is you need to put uh, two signs a water and place a water, like water log the top one. That way it's kind of like water then stopped. So the, um, the items will pop into that water and then just stay there. So we can see by throwing in. And then we wait a few seconds and then all the thing will send it up. And now it's kind of flowing in the water there. So even though we it would normally would bounce back down, we can still pick it up fine. And now we have 64. So that's pretty much it. Um, I really do hope you enjoy this vending machine. Maybe build it in your worlds. Um, your multiplayer world that you might be in so you can sell stuff for your friends. Um, yeah, that's it. Um, I also covered it up between the clips. That's how I recommend you cover it up. So you just um, cover up to the back. This over here is um, part of the build, kind of, but it can just be a normal block. But you only need to go make, from, from the beginning, you go one, two, three, four, five blocks back and just around. And the rest can just be covered like this, like using floor. Also over here, unfortunately, needs to be covered via carpet because of the redstone. And I also um, recommend you place a sign off of this block and um, like so. And then carpet up the rest so that you can kind of, um, like, so it looks like, like uniform. And then you can break this to get underneath when that's all, like when this is all covered up. Yeah, that's literally all there is to it. It's not too complicated. Unfortunately, you have to figure it out a little bit for yourself. But that's uh, pretty much the end of the video. So um, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you build it in your multiplayer world so you can sell stuff to your friends. And yeah, I've been the Generic Redstone Genius, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.